I've seen young kids glide aimlessly as carefree as you like, and find myself resenting these intrepid two-wheeled tykes whose tricks can't help reminding me that I can't ride a bike. I've seen them outpace motor cars without a hint of sweat, lift both hands from their handlebars to roll a cigarette, or tie their smugly breeze-blown scarves, whilst I can't balance yet. I always meant to learn, of course. Dad said he'd teach me sometime, but like all life's most crucial chores, the bike somehow got sidelined. Far easier to think in morse, forecast tomorrow's headlines, levitate, than learn to cycle after 20 years. The passing mention of a bike will bring back ancient fears. I scream in cold sweat dreams come nightfall. Dreams of bells and gears. But here at university, I crave what I abhor. This phobia that's cursing me has got to go before the normal cycling students see me washed up on the shore of bikelessness, just like the last extinct sea creature thing who said, Evolve? I can't be asked." Whose friends grew feet or wings, who as he sees them gliding past regrets not listening. That can't be me. I must evolve. You see, these days I find this unwield life not quite enough. There's one thing to my mind that's worse than fearing falling off. Fearing falling behind. Now, just across the road from me, there's this strange kind of store. Its window panes are stained with grease, but strolling past, I swore that something in there called to me, called me through the door. Secondhand junk, and firsthand dust. But over to the right, a thing decayed and caked with rust that in a certain light looks like it long ago might just, might once have been a bike. Only 30 minutes later, and 45 quid down, balanced in the face of danger, propped up outside of town, I prepared to meet my maker and I met, instead, the ground. I lay there, gazing at the trees, back pressed against the world, at peace. Then, slowly, by degrees, fear left where I'd been hurled, stood up, the fresh grit in my knees forming into a pearl. Although my cycle's not too swish, my balance not quite there. This nervous prehistoric fish has gained some savoir faire. He sprouted feet, and now he thinks he's ready to try the air.